As many people spend more time at home, the desire and need to stay isolated are a big concern for small businesses. Tonight, Kate Raditz shares some of the ways you can still support people in the service industry. Normally, Fox Den Salon would be packed on a Sunday, but not today. Everybody is kind of freaking out because we get paid on commissions. Owner Sika Dawn says the cancellations just kept coming starting on Thursday. She's had to cut some staff hours. She says the salon always uses top hygiene practices, but there are other ways people can support them aside from a cut. By buying products and paying in advance for their next services. She also encouraged giving reviews online to boost their social media presence. I'm scared for the moms and dads and, and, and kids that really get impacted. Tinto kitchen sales were down 50% this weekend. Owner Rebecca is encouraging people to support local restaurants, which could be dining in, but also through takeout and gift cards if they prefer to eat at home. We are taking uh, uh, many precautions, including uh, disinfecting every menu afterwards, pens. We no longer use check presenters. Still, she says she anticipates restaurants could be next to temporarily close. She hopes people will be healthy and also do what they can to help small businesses. It's important that we support each other in this time and make sure that you know we too can do our part. The Small Business Association says it will work directly with state governors to help provide loans to small businesses or nonprofits that may be severely impacted by COVID-19. They're also reminded Finding employees to wash their hands often and to stay home if they're sick. Reporting in Minneapolis, Kate Raditz, WCCO4 News.